Hi, this is Mark. Welcome back to Alaska Rural Homestead. Hey, I've got great news. We went uh, subsistence caribou hunting the other day and we got a caribou. So yeah, that means good meat. So anyways, uh, this is a caribou uh, quarter here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up and just uh, process it for canning. So basically you can kind of watch me cut it up and then uh, I'm gonna drop all the good pieces of meat into this bucket right here. Um, all the junk, you know, the fur stuff like that I'm not going to use is going to go over to our little garbage can that sits off screen here. Uh, first thing I want to go over, uh, please, 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 anytime you process any wild meat, be extra clean. I'm talking about uh, when you take your countertop or whatever, make sure you sanitize it bleach and water. I have a bleach and water rag right here that sits here. So as I'm using it, you'll see me wipe across, you'll see me wipe my hands with it. It helps keep it sanitized. Uh, next thing is have plenty of sharp knives. Um, I have a knife sharpener behind me. I'm not going to tell you what brand it is because I'm not trying to push the brand. But uh, anyways, it works really great and I keep knives sharp. That's the key to cutting this stuff up without cutting yourself and having a whole bunch of other issues. Now we have an old antique uh, dry sink underneath of us. And so what we did, because we like to have counter space and as, our, as you can see our kitchen isn't all that big, we take a nice piece of linoleum that's clean, we sanitize it, we lay it on top. That allows us to have a waterproof top that we can lay our meat up on and, and cut. And it's nice and tall so you're not bent over and you're not hurting your back. So anyways, let's get started cutting this up. One big chunk of meat ready to go. Yes, yummy. So this is the front shoulder, just so you know. And uh, there's a scapula in here. Another good piece of meat there. Don't be afraid to use that uh, washcloth with the bleach water on it. It will not hurt your meat because um, it's not drenched in bleach water. It's just rinsed and then wrung out. But it's a nice good thing to keep your hands kind of clean with and sanitized. Now I'm not going to tell you all how to bone your meat out because everybody's got their own way of doing things um, I would say just be careful watch your fingers try to keep it as close to the bone as you can you know salvage as much as you can what's left on these bones will not go to waste it'll be just like the bone broth that we made for the um, chicken carcasses uh, this will be baked and uh, basically boiled <laughs> into a broth and we can either give it to the dogs, which they love, or we can go ahead and make it into a uh, soup mix. Or another good thing that we do with these bones is sometimes we'll just leave the meat on there and won't even bake it at all. Or excuse me, we won't even uh, make broth out of it all. We'll go ahead and bake it and then cut the bones down with a sawzall and then feed the bone to the dogs as a treat and they really like that if you give any type of these bones to your animals make sure that you cook them thoroughly 
I recommend uh, starting out at 350, leaving that for two hours, bringing the uh, temperature of the oven up and the meat and the bones. Do that for two hours, and then after you do that, uh, go ahead and, and continue to cook and dry this out at 250 degrees for another three to four hours after that. Uh, that won't be completely uh, dried out, but it will uh, get most of the uh, meat dried and the and the, well a little bit of uh, fat is out of it, and then you can give it to your animals then. Um, if they've got a sensitive stomach though, it may upset it just be forewarned on that. So. Okay, so we're back. We're at the last quarter, and it's luckily it's the hind quarter of the caribou. And as you can see, we've started to uh, put our meat into the brine. So, like I said, this is the same brine recipe that my wife had uh, made up, and it's in the previous video. The only difference, like I said, is she added some orange. And that orange that's in here, we did this for one main reason. Um, it adds a little bit of acidity because moose and caribou and game meat are kind of a little acidic. So the acidicness in the oranges or lemons, if you would use lemons, helps to preserve this meat when it's canned. And it's all about preserving this meat so we can eat it, you know, six months down the road and not have to worry about it. So go ahead and stay tuned and then we'll show you how to can this up. 